I'm Charlie Love, and in this Google Workspace admin video, brought to you by Ats Events and Acer, we're going to look at keeping your email secure with some key actions to protect your domain. First up is authenticate email with SPF, DKIM, and DMARC. SPF, DKIM, and DMARC are now essential for protecting your users and validating your domain as authentic. SPF, DKIM, and DMARC establish an email validation system that uses DNS settings to authenticate, digitally sign, and help prevent spoofing of your domain. Attackers sometimes forge the from address on email messages, so they seem to come from a user in your domain. To prevent this, you can set up SPF and DKIM on all outbound email streams. SPF lets servers verify that messages appearing to come from a particular domain are sent from servers authorized by the domain owner. DKIM adds a digital signature to every message. This lets receiving servers verify that messages aren't forged and weren't changed in transit. DMARC enforces SPF and DKIM authentication and lets admins get reports about message authentication delivery. Once SPF and DKIM are in place, you can set up a DMARC record to define how Google and other receivers should treat unauthenticated email purporting to come from your domain. You absolutely need to do this for your domain. I'll cover this in a future video, but you can use this support article to find out more now. My second tip is to set up inbound email gateways to work with SPF. SPF helps prevent your outgoing messages from being sent to spam, but a gateway can impact how SPF works. If you use an email gateway to route incoming email, make sure it's set up properly for sender policy framework. You can get information about how to set up an inbound gateway with this support article. Next, it's really important to enforce TLS with your partner domains. Do you have partners that you frequently exchange mail with that you want to ensure that mail is secure when you're sending it? Transport Layer Security, or TLS, is a security protocol that encrypts email for privacy. TLS prevents unauthorized access of your email when it's in transit over the internet. By default, Gmail always tries to use a secure TLS connection when sending email. However, a secure TLS connection requires that both the sender and recipient use TLS. If the receiving server doesn't use TLS, Gmail still delivers the message, but the connection isn't secure. Adding the secure transport TLS compliance setting to always use TLS for emails sent to and from domains and addresses that you specify enhances your security overall. When composing a new Gmail message, a padlock image next to the recipient's address means that the message will be sent with TLS. The padlock shows only for accounts with a Google Workspace subscription that supports S-MIME encryption. Google Workspace supports TLS versions 1, 1.1, 1 1.2 1 and 1.3. My fourth point is to require sender authentication for all approved senders. When sender authentication is turned off, Gmail can't verify the message was sent by the person it seems to come from. Requiring authentication reduces the risk of spoofing and phishing or whaling. And finally, configure MX records for correct mail flow. Configure the MX records to point to Google's mail servers at the highest priority record to ensure a correct mail flow to your Google Workspace domain users. This reduces the risk of data deletion through lost email and malware threats. Google have a great support article on doing this right here. So there you go, some quick tips on setting up awesome secure email with Google Workspace. I'm Charlie Love. And this Google Workspace admin video has been brought to you by Apps Events and Acer.